It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles coming up next. The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Jake Elliott ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self totally understands the offense and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Carr going to throw right away. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious doorways called as penalties. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Shotgun now for Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. So the pick up the six brings up second and four at the Eagles 33-yard line. From the 33, here's second and four. Here's Carr to throw. 
Open man left side. Shaheed has it. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. On first down, Carr. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Juwan Johnson. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Saints will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And he returns this to the 22. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first and 10, it's Hurts. That's to the speedster, Alameda Zacchaeus. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. As they've got it as we resume action. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They will run straight ahead with Swift. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 
That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and four. Throwing his hurts. He'll get it inside the 20. And out of bounds right around the 20. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. 7-0 ball game. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So complete there to Thomas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw here. Against this complete to Shaheed. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. A good pick up there of 20 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Do your thing. Come on, let's go. Let's dominate this. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Tries the left side and finds a lobby. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A 
another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson as the first half is winding down. And the Saints have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. The point after, good by Groupie. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Second and a couple. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this up to the 43. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They'll throw now on the final play. Flush to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side to play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. 
The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started. The way that they're going about doing things right now, they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. On the counter, here's Kamara. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and 10, here's Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good pickup there, 26 yards. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And Camaro with a carry there on first down as he works his way forward for a pickup of four. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Here's Camara off the draw. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Again, it's Camara. And a loose football. 
But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, They've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and eight coming from the 19. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. And until that point, we haven't seen Julio Jones. That's hard to believe here this late in the game. And no one more frustrated than Julio Jones because receivers feed off of catches. That's their fuel, and that's also their affirmation. And he hasn't been getting much of that in this game, and their team is losing, and he wants to have a better effect on the game. Just the first connection, Ryan to Jones there. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackle there. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. On first down, Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Now second and four. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this one complete to Smith. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. All three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Here's first and 10. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Here's second and a yard. Here's a handoff to Swift. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. I think they'll let this drive a little bit better here, Brandon. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Here's first down. Back to throw. Forced out to his left. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now 
this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and... And he is in to the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. as the kicks away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a game of 23 yards. First down, Saints. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Here's Carr. And incomplete on the deep ball. I don't know if you need the big shot right there or not because you've still got time to work some of the shorter stuff and try to get into field goal range. They did go for the big one there. It would have been nice, but it winds up incomplete. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and 10. Throwing his car. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes. That's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's first and ten. They'll pound it up the middle with Camaro. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here comes second down. They run it again with Kamara. And he's taken down. And now they can milk this, take it all the way down, call the timeout, and set up the game winning field goal try.
Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. A tenth carry for Kamara. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL <laughs> moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. This is first and 10. One final shot, they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time.